summer quotes. Diabetes affects 537 million people around the world. This is according to Sasham Ahmad, a diabetes researcher at the University of Leicester in the journal The Lancet, published in 2022. Everyone in this room knows someone who may be affected by this chronic medical condition. Diabetes is a chronic medical condition that affects your blood sugar levels. First, I will talk about type 1 diabetes. Second, I will talk about type 2 diabetes. And finally, I'll discuss other health issues that diabetes can cause. First, let's start with type 1 diabetes. According to Linda D'Amelio, a professor at Indiana University School of Medicine in the journal The Lancet, published in 2018, type 1 diabetes is a chronic medical condition characterized by insulin deficiency. Every individual case has different causes and symptoms. However, things that connect with type 1 diabetes include genetics, epidemiology, and immune and B cell phenotypes. The onset of type 1 diabetes is primarily in adults, with over 50% of the cases occurring in adults. Diabetes is commonly diagnosed by these symptoms, including hypoglycemia, which is high blood sugar, weight loss, excessive thirst, and excessive urine output. Along with these symptoms, type 1 diabetes also causes your immune system to weaken which puts you at a higher risk of catching viral infections. Now let's move on to type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes is a chronic condition in which your body does not produce enough insulin or it does not effectively use the insulin that it does produce. Type 2 diabetes and obesity are interconnected and share many pathopsychological mechanisms including inflammation and insulin resistance. This occurs when your body is not responding to the insulin that is being secreted by the pancreas. The diagnosis of type 2 diabetes is focused on specific phenotype characteristics, such as a person's body mass index or their BMI. As you can see, type 2 diabetes accounts for over 90% of the 537 million cases worldwide. Globally, the portion of people living with undiagnosed diabetes is 45%. This could be due to the fact that even people with a so-called healthy weight can be at risk for type 2 diabetes. Around 80% of the people with type 2 diabetes are living in low-income or middle-class environments. The prevalence of type 2 diabetes is correlated with lifestyle choices. However, for most people with type 2 diabetes, choices in lifestyle are non-existent. Affordability, availability, and accessibility profoundly not only affect the meal patterns and fitness routines, but also the food preparation methods and portions consumed while eating as well. Now that I have talked about both type 1 and type 2 diabetes, let's discuss some other health issues that diabetes can cause. Diabetes not only deals with insulin deficiency, but it also causes other major, major health issues. According to Dr. Ferrari, a bone disease specialist in the journal Osteoporosis International, published in 2018, studies have shown an increase in bone fragility in patients with diabetes. Weight loss is a major effect of diabetes and can lead to muscle loss and bone loss, which then leads to osteoporosis. Osteoporosis occurs when your bones are so brittle and weak that even a slight fall can cause a bone to break. Osteoporosis breaks commonly occur in the wrist, hips, and spine. Osteoporosis occurs when the creation of a new bone does not keep up with the loss of an old bone. Ways to prevent bone loss include eating a healthy diet, physical activity, and also adding calcium to your diet as well. According to Eofi Egan, an endocrinologist at Mayo Clinic in the journal Medicine, published in 2022, there are four types of diabetes. Prediabetes is a strong indicator for the future occurrence of overt diabetes, and overt diabetes can commonly lead to gestational diabetes. Gestational diabetes can be both harmful for the mother and the fetus during a pregnancy. Overt diabetes also causes major cardiovascular health issues. In this speech, I first talked about type 1 diabetes, second I talked about type 2 diabetes, and finally I discussed other health issues diabetes can cause. Diabetes is a chronic medical condition that affects your blood sugar levels. 537 million people suffer from diabetes. And now that you have learned more about this disease, hopefully you can have a more empathetic approach.